The dot plot is the best custom indicator I have ever created. It combines multiple different direction and momentum indicators to help you decide your bias, be it bearish or bullish, on a stock. In today's video, I'm going to show you all how to build a scanner utilizing this indicator to return you the types of stocks that you would like to trade using it. Hit the like button for me and I'll jump into the content. The way that I utilize my dot plot indicator in my own trading is as follows. I watch for when the top dot, which represents the total MACD value, while it is still red, I wait for some of these faster changing momentum indicators represented by the four dots below the top dot to begin turning green. I use the indicator as sort of a reversal indicator. Hey, this stock is weak, 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 but it's starting to show signs of strength. It's now got two green dots. It's now got three green dots. It's now got four green dots. Even here when this stock, ASPN, not ESPN, Stephen A. Smith, ASPN, was trading at 1245 before today it blasted off above 15. So I use this indicator once again as a reversal indicator and I have built my scan to do just that. I have built my scan to look at the MACD value still being below zero. These are the same instances that create that scanner. The MACD below zero, MACD histogram above, stochastic fast above, stochastic slow above, and RSI above. So what I'm doing and what I'm returning with this scanner is stocks that have all four green, sorry, yes, four, all four dots other than the top dot green. So if I click through some right now, you will see ZI, uh, top red, green, 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 starting to get a nice turnaround. DNA, uh, top dot red, green, green, actually two or three days ago, they all turned green on this one. So it's already happened. Coinbase, once again, what are you noticing in all these stocks? They are stocks that are pulling back, but beginning to perk up. Once again, I use it as a sort of reversal style indicator. That doesn't mean that's how you have to use this indicator. I don't expect anybody to just take my indicator and to use it exactly like I use it, right? The point is for you to take my scanners, take my indicators and fit them into your own trade style. And in just a second, I will show you all how you can manipulate this scanner to more easily showcase how you want to use it yourself. If you are interested in my dot plot indicator, in this scanner, in any other indicator or scanner or strategy I have ever made, they are all available for download on my website, daytradingstrategies.net. There'll be a link in the top of the description. We'll see you over there. I bet nearly all of you when watching the intro of this video watched me click through a lot of these stocks and notice some of your own patterns. That's the beauty of this scanner and this indicator and it's why I created the indicator. It's very, very visual, right? You can get a very quick idea of how it works, of what it represents, of how it can dictate specific moves in the stock market. And I, when I say that, I mean that a lot of you might have looked at this and gone, well, Trey, I like it when the uh, MACD, the top bar is green and instead there's like two or three red dots. I like that better. Or Trey, I like it when the top bar is red, but only one of the dots is green rather than waiting for all four to turn green. Once again, all of those and all of those different trade styles are going to depend on the way you trade, your risk management, your trading goals the way that you see the market the best. And you need to understand how to manipulate this scanner to return those types of stocks for you. So let's go over a couple of examples right now. First off, I just want to mention, and I'm not going to dive into this too deep, but a functionality of Thinkorswim, this scanner is currently running on the daily chart. You can run it on the five minute chart if you would like to. If I scan this on the five minute chart now, it, it will be returning stocks arm is the top one. Let's just go look. If I load this on the five minute, one, the study auto adjust to the five minute, which is awesome. And two, it is returning it because all four, well, this is a bad example because it's no longer doing it. I think it just pulled back, but um, within the last couple of minutes, all four of these dots were green on the five minute chart. I just want to showcase that as well before we dive too deep. Okay, let's dive into the code itself now, and let's talk about the way you can manipulate some of this. Say you wanted to do, I want the MACD, I want to use this as more of a continuation strategy instead of a reversal strategy. Well, all you would do, look when the MACD is above zero, vis-a-vis -vis the MACD is green, and then if you want to, you can change the rest of these to red. 
So instead, you're now going to be looking at stocks where the MACD is green and all four stocks below are red. Let's go ahead and run this scanner. And I'm actually going to go ahead and save it as well so that it updates over here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because, nah, I've already shared it on the website. I've already shared the code. So let's go look at what this looks like now. BAC is one. If I go ahead and turn on the daily, BAC is one where all, see, all four dots other than the, the top line are red. Maybe that's how you want to use a scanner. Maybe you saw something on the scan where you want to look at a dot specifically. Trey, I really like when the RSI is green, when the MACD is red and that last fifth dot down here is green, I really like the way that looks. So we can go ahead and easily do that too. And I'll show you. Let's once again, make the MACD back green. This might, you know, I don't want to insult your intelligence too much. This might be obvious, but all you would need to do is delete the rest of the cases. Now this is going to show you, oops, sorry. You also have to flip this around. I forgot that we flipped it for a continuation. If you want the MACD to be red and the RSI to be green, that's all you would do. Set it up just like that. If we go ahead and we save this query as save go and we wait for it to load here, the loading times on Thinkorswim are making this a little bit awkward. How do I fill in awkward silence on a video? Hi, how are you guys doing today? Um, I'm doing well. Um, okay, I think it's updated over here. I think this is updated. Yeah, so now any, any stock that has a red top dot and a green bottom dot will work. And of course, once again, not to insult your intelligence, of course, you can do that with any of these dots. Trey, I really like the fast stoke or the slow stoke or the RSI or the MACD histogram, whatever it may be. All you would need to do is just single out that section and set that section up to be however you would like it to look. So in today's video, not only did you get access to the scanner in the way that I do it, in the way that I use it for free, but also, and of course I didn't cover every single example, but also you got to see how you can manipulate the scanner to set it up for your own trade style, correct? And another feature of daytradingstrategies.net of my website is when you're signed up, you get access to my personal email. So if there's a way that you want to set this up specifically that I didn't cover in this video, once you sign up to daytradingstrategies.net, send me an email, I'll respond to you ASAP, hopefully with the way that I can get the code to look just like you want it. So what you're gonna do after this video, if you sign up to daytradingstrategies.net, you're going to get access to this indicator. You're going to look at it. And once again, it's very visual, which makes it great for testing. You're going to look at it and you're going to find and you're going to begin noticing patterns. You're just looking at this chart right now. I promise the couple thousand of people that are watching this video, wink, wink, hope, hope. You guys are all noticing slightly different patterns because that's the way our brain works. There's no correct way to trade do this and you'll make a bunch of money unfortunately that's not a thing due to human emotion and due to the billions and trillions of synapses we all have going on in our brains at any given time we all see things a little bit different we all have different emotional control we all have different trading goals we all have different risk management strategies so every single one of you is looking at this indicator and looking at this chart and noticing different patterns now with this video you have the information to go get this indicator notice these patterns set up this scanner and set it up hopefully the way that you want it so that it's returning the types of stocks that you would like to trade. So once again, daytradingstrategies.net, download the codes, do your testing, figure it out, do your back testing, this, that, and the other. And hopefully uh, all this helps turn you into a better trader. That's the goal here, right? So hit the like button for me if you did enjoy the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new. I'm posting content just like this just about every single day for free on this channel. Obviously make sure you're subscribed. With all that being said, that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. In the outro, though, I'm going to link the video that goes over this indicator in depth. So if you haven't seen that video, you probably want to watch that next. Trading stocks. He talks about trading stocks. It's important for you Americans and other international individuals to learn about stocks. <laughs>